Gosh, it's amazing. You've gotten a lot accomplished. Thank you. <laughs> Tremendous. Thank you. you know, Aaron, when you started, did you have any idea it was going to grow to this so quickly when you started with, well, this van? We really had no idea. Honestly, when we started, we didn't know that we were even going to get anywhere near gardening, <laughs> urban farming, whatever this is that we're doing. And here you are. <laughs> here we are. We started with this, this ugly old van, uh, just taking supplies out to, to homeless, unsheltered homeless. Well, you know, I, I don't think a lot of us really understand the state of homelessness in, in, in this country. Yeah, we don't. It's it's really not what it used to be. It's not just your your guy on, at, at university in 4:30 or wherever mm -hmm. holding a sign. Some it's, cross section of the street. It, yeah, it, it's you know we've found everything from full time college students to to pregnant women to to you know me and you out there. Sure, you know? sure. And so the more we got out there, and the more we started meeting people and and seeing the way that they were living and and the way that they were you know getting their food and things like that, uh, it, it just it became very apparent that. There had to be a better way for people who are struggling to have some decent food to eat. Right. And so we started this with the intention of, of giving them that opportunity, you know, and also the dignity that comes with that. Right. You know? So not only do, do these people have an opportunity to have nutritious food that's locally grown, uh, beautifully grown, but also they have an opportunity to participate in the growing and, and which I think, to your point, helps self-esteem. They do, and they love it. Uh, they, they love getting out <laughs> here. They love, you know, just, just being a part of something that's bigger than them. Sure. Helping to grow food right. that, you know, for their friends on the streets sure. as well. Feel so, connected. Absolutely. So Aaron, do you have volunteers out here every day? We do, we get a lot of groups, a lot of volunteer groups on the weekends. Right. During the week, we have a lot of our participants from the homeless community that are able to come out. Sure. Um, we've got a, a lot of regulars, and then sometimes we'll have some that'll come out if they have different skill sets or whatever. So in a way, this is really becoming a place for people to learn, um, you know, a skill set, but also it's a way to sort of inspire groups. You said you had church groups come out with, with uh, youth groups. And so we do, we get a lot. Uh, about a month ago, we had about 200 students out here. We try and uh, incorporate as much educational type stuff as we can. Absolutely. We're crazy about your chicken house over here. Well, you should be. Uh, when we started it, we actually got a lot of our uh, ideas <laughs> off of one of your videos. Well, so. it looks kind of familiar, <laughs> the chicken trailer. <laughs> That's I like good. to call it the Coupe de Ville. Coupe de Ville. The chickens, we've had to just kind of get them as we can and, <laughs> right. uh, and, and just build up as, as we can. What so. size flock are you wanting to create here? Our goal is 150 laying hens. That would be a lot of eggs. <laughs> I, I can't wait for those either. Oh, well, I'd be great. happy to share some chickens with you to, to help add to your flock. That'd be wonderful. Yeah, we'll That'd be great. All that. Well, this is very inspiring what you're doing. Thanks for spending the time with me today. Thanks for coming out and seeing it. It's yeah, great. you bet. Keep it up. Good work. <laughs> <laughs>